What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to determine if an ordered pair is a solution to a system, right? So here is our example. So this one says, determine if the ordered pairs negative 2 comma negative 1 and negative 4 comma negative 3 are solutions to the system. Okay, so in order to figure out if they are solutions or not, all you have to do is take your ordered pair and plug it into both of these equations. Okay, if this ordered pair makes both of these equations true, then it is a solution. Okay, but if it only makes one of them true and the other one false, then it's not a solution. Okay, or if you plug it in and they're both false, then it, it's not a solution at all, right? So let's start with this ordered pair right here. So negative two, negative one. So we're gonna plug it into both of these equations. So I'm gonna plug it into x minus y is equal to negative one and the other one, two x minus y is equal to negative five, okay? So again, this is your x-coordinate and this is your y-coordinate, right? So we're gonna plug in negative two for x right there and then it's gonna be minus our y and our y is negative one, right? Negative one. And then that's equal to negative one. Okay, so here we're gonna have negative two minus a negative number, that's the same thing as adding, right? So plus one is equal to negative one. Okay, so then negative two plus one is equal to negative one, right? And we're setting that equal to this negative one. Okay, so we got negative one is equal to negative one. So that means this ordered pair, negative two, negative one, is a solution to this equation, right? Now we have to check the other equation. Okay, so again, I'm gonna plug in a negative two for my x right here and a negative one for my y. All right, so we're gonna have two times x, which is negative two, right, minus y, and our y is negative one, so negative one. And we're setting that equal to negative five, okay? So then here we're gonna have two times negative two, which is negative four. Here we have negative, or minus a negative number, so that's the same thing as adding, right? So we're gonna have plus one, and we're setting that equal to negative five. Okay, so negative four plus one is equal to negative three. So we have negative three is equal to negative five. Okay, is this a true statement? No, right? That's a false statement. So is negative two, negative one a solution to this system? No, it is not. Okay, so negative two, negative one is not a solution. I'll just abbreviate that. Okay, so now let's just check this other ordered pair and see if this one is a solution to this system. Okay, and I'll do it on this side over here. So just rewriting the two equations up here, x minus y is equal to negative one, and two x minus y is equal to negative five. Okay, so this time I'm gonna plug in this ordered pair into my two equations, okay? So this is our x, this is our y. All right, so let's plug in negative four for x, negative four, and then that's gonna be minus our y, and our y is negative three, right? Negative three. And then that's gonna be equal to negative one, okay? So then here we have negative four, and then minus a negative number, again, is the same thing as adding, so plus three, and then that's equal to negative one, all right? So negative four plus three is equal to negative one, and we're setting that equal to this negative one. Okay, so we got a true statement, right? Negative one is equal to negative one. So this ordered pair is a solution to this first equation. Okay, and now we just have to check this last equation, all right? So again, we're gonna plug in negative four for x and negative three for y. Okay, so here we're gonna have two times negative four minus y, which is negative three, and then that's equal to negative five. Okay, so then two times negative four is negative eight, and then that's gonna be uh, minus a negative number, again, is the same thing as adding, so plus three, and setting that equal to negative five. All right, so then here we have negative eight plus three, which is equal to negative five, and we're setting that equal to this negative five, right? Okay, so as you can see, we got a true statement, right? So this ordered pair, negative four, negative three, also works for this equation. Okay, so since it worked for both of these equations in this system, that means this ordered pair, negative four, negative three, is a solution to the system. 
So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.